Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here, and today I have something very exciting to talk about. It's the new chipped paint workflow that I've been tweeting about and sharing on Blender Artist. And the goal here was to create a workflow that allowed people to add that elusive chip paint material to EV models. And as you know, in Eevee, we don't have a lot of the tools that we need to create that easily. So what I've done is I've put together a step-by-step -step process and documented it actually in the material. So you can walk through it yourself by just downloading the materials. And the cool thing about it is that I'm creating a free K-Pack to do both the bevels and the chip paint materials. So when you combine that with the free kit ops, it gives you a very nice workflow for use in Eevee and it doesn't cost you a penny. So let's get started. So here I have something I call a switch it, which is a combination of switch and widget. And if we look at it rendered, you'll see that it's currently made out of very hard steel and the edges are perfectly crisp. What we want to do first is we're going to actually create a bevel for these edges. Now, you might ask, why wouldn't I just do that with a modifier? Well, let's go in and we'll look at the modifiers here and we'll add a bevel. And you can see with the clamp override, we get almost no bevel. Even if we go into the angle mode, we get almost no bevel. So it's very difficult to add a bevel. If I turn off clamp override and I start to try and adjust the bevels, I might get something, but I'm going to start to get a lot of weird geometry, rendering artifacts, all kinds of things are gonna, gonna get in the way. So we don't wanna do that. What we wanna do first is we wanna go ahead and create the bevel that we want on this nice steel object. So how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna go over here and in my K-Packs, so I'm gonna filter by CW, and you're gonna find a new K-Pack in here it's going to be called CW Special. And in here we have a bevel bake and a chip bank. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this bevel bake and I'll hold the control key down and I'll add the insert and that'll put it directly on this. Now, it just showed all our inserts. I'm going to go ahead and turn those off. This was a kid ops model, obviously. So now it's given this a bright orange color and it's given us a set of instructions on exactly how to work this. So let's look at these instructions real quick. So it says the first thing we want to do is UV map the object. And we're going to need to do that so that we can create a normal map that will be baked to. Uh, then we create the bake image, which we'll call bevel bake, or in this case, I'm going to use the letter A, but we can use whatever name we want here. And we can also render it at 2K or 1K. I'm going to use 1K for this model. Then we set the renderer to cycles because we can't bake from EV. We have to use cycles. We add edge split modifier to the object. That's important for baking. We adjust the bevel node radius right here. Then we'll load the bevel bake image into the image texture here. And then we'll select the object and we'll add the image texture. And then we'll bake the normal to render settings. In the render settings over here. So we'll show you how you do that. And then we'll save the image to file. We'll pack it. In this case, we'll probably just pack it. And then we'll connect the normal map node to the BSDF normal, which will be this node will be connected to here. And then we'll look at it and we'll look dev and see how it worked. So let's go ahead and walk through that very quickly. First thing we'll do is we'll UV map the object with it selected. And by the way, as we look at it in wireframe mode, you can see that it's a pretty basic mesh. It's already been deconstructed. There's no modifiers anywhere on this object. And that's what we want to go and take into UV editing mode. So I'll go into UV editing mode. I already have this A, so I'll use that first. So if I look at this, I've got this funky normal map, which is not correct. So I'm going to go ahead and select A. I'm going to come over here and hit A over here and select everything and then go U and smart UV project. And I'm going to put 20 in here. Island mar uh, margins probably 0.15. Let's try that out. And let's hit OK. So hit A. And we'll look in here and we'll see what our island margins look like. And they look pretty good, actually. So this looks like it might be a pretty good UV unwrap for us for now. So with that done, let's go back into our layout. We've created the UV map. Now we're going to create the bake image. Well, we already have that. That's that letter A. Now we're going to actually select this object. And we are going to go under here and we're going to add an edge split modifier and then we're going to adjust the bevel node radius so now we have to set the render to cycles and there it is and you can see wow look at that that's way too big so we want this to be let's try 0.01 and i'm going to zoom in and look at it so with this bevel node piped into the normal in cycles it automatically goes around and puts a rendered bevel on everything look how nice that is we're going to use that 0.1 is going to be our bevel that we want our object to eventually have with that selected we'll go in and we'll select the object and we'll select the image texture so we have to have this selected and this selected 
and then we're going to bake to normal in the settings. So we go to cycles, we roll down here, and we're going to go to bake right here. And you want to make sure that you bake to normal. That's important here. And once you've done that, all you have to do is bake it. Hit the bake button. With these two things selected, we'll hit the bake button. And now we'll wait. And now it's done. And it's very simple for us to go into the look dev mode here. You see we don't have the bevel applied, but if we drag this over here to this normal, it'll add it for us. And now we can zoom in and we can see that indeed we do have the bevel applied. If we want to, we can up the resolution to 2K, as I mentioned, if we need it tighter. But I think this is going to be pretty good for what we want right now. Okay, that's the bevel bake workflow. Now let's go in and let's look at the chip paint workflow on top of that. So I'm going to click on our object. I'm going to click over here, chip paint, hold the control key down and hit add insert. And when we do that, we get something that looks pretty funky because we already have some pre-existing normal maps that have been set up. But we do have a very similar node graph. If you notice, all these red boxes are the boxes that you need to be focused on editing to control this. And then these are all the instructions. So the first thing it says, we need to bake two object bevel normal maps. So we bake one normal map for object bevel A. So that's for the object bevel. And then we bake a wider normal map for chipped paint mask. So we want a little larger one. In order for us to do that, we're going to need to go back into our bevel bake. We need to select our object again, go back into cycles mode, and we're going to rehook up the bevel. And this time, instead of 0.01, I'm going to do 0.02. I'm going to double that. So I get a little bit larger radius here. And now instead of A, I'm going to choose B. I'm going to use, use the B image. The B image is the image that came in when we imported this particular insert. So now we've got B set up. With this selected and this selected, now we'll go ahead and we're going to go back into the cycles and back into the bake and we're going to hit bake. Now we're done and we'll go ahead and hook this normal up here and go into our look dev mode and we'll look and indeed we have a new bake and it's it's softer than the one previously which is exactly what we want so with this selected let's go back in and let's go back into our chipped paint mode and let's scroll up to the top of this and see what our next instructions are we want to apply this material to the object well we just did that switch to ev look dev mode we did that set node object bevel to use normal map a so that's the object bevel right here and we need that to use a okay did that set node Paint bevel to use normal bat B. That's already set up. Tweak the bevel size and adjust bevel with node. Tweak bevel scratches and adjust scratches with node. So those are the next things for us to do. So let's go ahead and look in on this. And you can look, it actually looks pretty good as it is. But let's take a look at these anyway. So the first one we want to adjust is this bevel with node. If you can see, we have metal kind of coming through the paint. It's so worn. That's because this black is all the way over the right. If I move it over just a little bit, it won't be coming through. The more I move it over, the cleaner that particular surface is going to be. And the more I move this over, the more distressed this area is going to be here. So you can kind of see what's going on. This is just adjusting our bevel. Keep that in mind. So I'm going to leave that right there. And if I go to adjust the scratch width, I can do the same thing. And as I move it out to the right, you see it gets a little cleaner. And I move it in tight, it gets a little more rough. And that's really kind of what I want. I want a kind of a rough look to it. Right there, we have pretty much finished with our chip paint bevel. So it says we tweak the bevel size and the scratches. So now we can just adjust the color. And that's really easy. We have these two paint and metal. So we go in here and we can adjust the color to whatever color we want this to be. And you can see it's very easy to do that. And we can adjust the roughness. The other thing we can do is if we have our KitOps definitely EV material system, we can actually even get fancier. And let's, let's look at what I'm talking about. I'm going to go into the plastic plus paint. I'm going to choose the paint mat and I'll select the object and I'll hit the control key and add the insert. And here's our, and I'm going to adjust the scale of it to two, give it a little, little tighter scale. All I want out of this is I want one, two, three, four, five, six, control C. I copied him. And now I'm going to go back into my chip paint. I'm going to readjust and I'll come in. I'll hit paste, hit the G button, move it over. All I need to do here is hook up the color to the base color and hook up our roughness over here to the roughness. And you see now we have that material. Furthermore, we can come in and of course adjust the colors. So that's step one. So that covered our paint material. Now let's look at our metal material. Well, it turns out I already have that CW steel material. Here we have it right here. And I'm going to select all of these nodes and I'll control C copy them. I'll go back into the chipped paint, zoom out, paste them, G move them over here. 
And again, we're gonna do the same thing, base color to base color and roughness to roughness. And you'll see that we're in pretty good shape. We've just added that metal to here. Also in this particular case, and I wanna actually punch, punch a little bit of that through the paint. Now for the cherry on top, I'm gonna to go in and I'm gonna select the dirty node. I'm gonna use this dirty up node and I'll add it to this, come back in, Make sure that we're back on our chip paint. And this is very simple. We'll go over here and we'll just say, add group, dirty up, drag it right here. And you'll see we're starting to add dirt right here. And I can go ahead and make the dirt height higher. And let's, let's take the amount down a little bit and you're starting to see what's going on. In fact, let's take that same node, shift D and drag it down and put it on the, on the metal as well. So. Now we're starting to see how it actually affects, even in the ambient occlusion areas, we're getting dirt applied in those areas. It's a different kind of dirt. It's, it's a grime. It's not the shiny metal that we're looking at other places. Change the color one more time. Switch to Eevee and do a quick rendering there. And you can see that we've got a pretty good chip paint and full of grime model. Now, I will mention the CW Dirty and these other objects are part of the definitely EV material system that you'll have to purchase from either Gumroad or Blender Market if you want to use those notes. So that's it for this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I very much enjoyed creating it and uh, I hope that this workflow will make it easier for you as it will for me in creating this type of effect. Thanks for watching. See you online.